Welcome to the Bowling Green Today Show. I'm here joined with Charles Jones. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being on the show. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on today? Oh, right. thank you, Andrew, for inviting us to the uh, Bowling Green Today Show to talk about back to school past. At Arrow Exterminators, we just wanted to share some information about the top pest but as people head back to school this year. And as far as the pests go, we we know there's all kinds of pests. I know you all know for today we have three that we're focusing on. First of all, mosquitoes. What can we do to prevent the mosquitoes? All right. Mosquito populations continue to be high this year, and there's several cases reported across the nation of the Chikagunga virus and West Nile virus. So we want to take precautions as we head outdoors there. One of the things that we can do is actually use a mosquito repellent. We have several available as we go outdoors to enjoy sporting events. So um, there's spray on repellents that's available and also the new clip on uh, repellents. Another thing that people can do is just cover up as much as the body as they can, like long sleeve shirts, long pants, and a hat to help prevent mosquito okay. bites. And mosquitoes, that's one of the pests that people deal with. Another one that people always ask about is ants. What can we do with ants? There's ants everywhere. What can they do? No, right. Ants are the number one pest in the United States. Everybody, is, you know, talks about ants. What we need to do is actually create a habitat that's, uh, that the ants don't like. That's, in other words, they need food, water, water, and shelter. So we recommend as you head back to school, the lunch boxes are notorious for causing issues with ants packing them home from the school. So we want to use a lunch box that can be washed out, or maybe if pests become a serious issue, a brown paper bag that can be d disposed of. Also, we recommend using items that are pre-packaged, okay. that you throw the package away there at school, not bringing home uh, food for ants, and therefore track them back in the lunch box. Okay, so we've talked about mosquitoes and we've talked about ants. Another thing that people are starting to notice and that a lot of people are starting to question is bed bugs. For those people that have questions about bed bugs, what can we tell them today regarding the bed bugs? Yeah, bed bugs are becoming uh, more and more common and as people congregate and going back to school, you know, that could be an issue there. Parents want to be sure that they take time to learn a little bit about what a bed bug looks like. Mm -hmm. they, they can typically be found, you know, in mattresses, suitcases, boxes, and shoes. They're nocturnal by nature, and uh, of course they feed on human blood. Mm -hmm. So what we recommend as your child goes back to school is, is one, take some precautions at home by using some of the pest monitor devices that are just glue traps that you could set around the bed or under the bed. Also they have actually bed bug traps that fit underneath the legs of the bed so that you can monitor that on a daily or weekly basis. And the best thing to do is go ahead and invest in a mattress cover for the ba mattresses. That way, if you do ha bring bed bugs home, you don't have to dispose of your mattress. Okay. There. And then what about backpacks as well, far as that goes for the kids? I'm glad you asked about that, Andrew. That's probably the number one way that that bed bugs could be transferred from school back home. Backpacks should be inspected daily by looking at the zippers, the seams, and even inside the little areas inside and pockets because that's where they're going to hide at. So if we see something in a backpack that we're unsure of or any item, let's get it sealed up in a plastic bag and ask for help from an exterminator to positively ID that. And we've talked about these three pests today. For more pest information, or more information at all, what do they need to do? All right. We recommend that they go to the Arrow Exterminators website, you know, 3 W's arrowexterminators.com. We have a lot of good information there, or they could even call the local Arrow office at 1-888-GO-ARROW, and uh, we'll be glad to give them any information. Well, thanks for having us on the show, and we'd love to hear stuff about this. They definitely need to hear this as they're headed back to school. We'll have more on the Bowling Green Today show, though, after the break. Endless pools are an incredible alternative to traditional pools, making it easy and inexpensive.